As survivors rummaged for those still alive in the half-light of dawn in eastern Ghouta, they themselves came under bombardment. The cameraman, having been hurled to the ground, runs towards others who called him over. Let's go, he tells the others, before they all flee for their lives. Eastern Ghouta is one of the last pockets of rebel-held territory which has defied the Assad regime, and for that, it's being systematically destroyed, whatever the human costs. Over 200 are reported dead in the last two days, with 600 wounded. The wounded stream out of buildings, still habitable, before being rushed into ambulances. Shut the door, the driver shouts. As he reverses, another explosion, and the debris scatters over his ambulance. Children have suffered especially. Sisters Noor and Allah recorded this desperate message yesterday in the midst of the bombardment. People can defend themselves. Even when ambulances reach those still alive, the hospitals that should treat them have ceased to exist, with four hospitals destroyed in the last two days. This was a doctor's appeal today. We want war to, to demonstrate credibility about human rights. We want war, the world to stop this crime against civilians. The Foreign Office Minister for the Middle East said the policy of the Assad regime and his Russian allies were clear. We're extremely alarmed by the increase in violence in eastern Ghouta. The upsurge in, in deliberate attacks and violence would seem to suggest uh, a, an increased determination by the regime to take the area by force. The world seems helpless in the face of such carefully targeted violence which is the worst in a country that has for seven years seen the worst of what man can do to man and child in the modern age. Ragia, my news at 10. Sirialo Nelakunantar Yutam Palitanga, Desavatanga, yet to choose in Ad Mansamina Pavana with their son of Mr. Nai. Athix to Bassar Asad Paran Kunirasanaka, Paschima, Gulf de Salu, Siria, Quartica Sakar, Manichidanik in Iraq, Christian and Nepa Tinlo, Adesa Punan Nirmanam, Asamahonga Marinde, Asad Paran Kuvetrikanga, Padamuchi Tapuko Varanikorto, Renduela Padakonto, Sirialo, Anthur and Lamotalaye, Sumar Yedela Patu Sakin Anthur Yutanlo, Nalukulakshla, De Pevela Mande, Pranan Kovakoga, Datapu Yabu Kalakshla Mande, Itera Pranthaku, Seran Hartuga Villa. 
చేశారు వైమానిక బాంబు దాడుల ఫలితంగా దెబ్బతిన్న భవనాల మధ్య బిక్కుబిక్కుమంటూ క్షణముఖ యుగంలా సిరియన్ వాసులు బతుకును వెళ్లతీస్తున్నారు ప్రస్తుత పరిస్థితుల నుంచి తమను గట్టెక్కించే వారి కోసం సిరియా దేశస్తులు ఆశగా ఎదురు చూస్తున్నారు సిరియా పునర్నిర్మాణం కోసం రెండు వందల బిలియన్ డాలర్ల దాకా అవసరమవుతాయని అంచనా వేసిన ప్రభుత్వం తమ మిత్రదేశాలైన చైనా రష్యా ఇరాన్లో ఇందుకు సహకరిస్తాయని విశ్వసిస్తోంది